look at the size of that thing. My brother is a strong boy, and he had a hard time picking that up. Of course, it, it was hot. We were outside working all day, but, I mean, look at that. I got a size 10 shoe. That is a monster. When we unloaded it from the van, I insisted that he gave it to me to put in here because I just wanted to see how heavy it was. And I'm telling you what, when you put that into place, just leave it. Just leave it. That right there should bring a good coin. I've not inspected it to see if there is a name on it. I'm going to venture a guess that it's made in America. Just, it's old. Probably is. This is that big honking vice that it's got to be the right day of the week that I can lift that thing. And I wasn't going to do much to it, but I couldn't even un unscrew the lead screw. So I started spraying schmooey on there and I got that out and cleaned it up. And then I thought, well, I'll put it back together, and all this crud came out. So I'm going to take out the, oh, the piece in here. I see, I can't even move that one-handed. I sprayed some schmooey on there, and we'll slide that piece out and get her all cleaned up. Get that crud out of there, and get the rust off it as best I can, and grease it up, put it back together, I guess. I don't see any name on this whatsoever. Maybe right there, finally. Looks like something. I'll have to investigate. Clean this up some. It says Prentice number four. I don't know what this, that's an N and then something that is beyond legible. So, you know, it's a it's a really good vice, good vintage vice. And so I think I am going to take my time and clean it up real good. And I'll probably do electrolysis on it. And then paint it. And then sold it. Well, here I am getting ahead of myself on this, and I was wanting to uh, really take some time to video this project because this one's this one's worthy of it. Um, this is a Prentice vice, like I already stated, and I called Dale Pratt. He helped me out tremendous, tremendously. I didn't know that this was a a swivel jaw um, vice. And it is. Um, okay, let's see. This goes in here. Um, this swivels so that you can put uh, some tapered stock in your vise and be able to grip it. I don't have the tapered pin that goes in here. So I finally got this loosened up. I started out with my ball peen hammer tapping just back and forth until I got some movements. And then I started using my uh, dead blow and then just pretty soon it came just came right off. A lot of crud on there built up. The only markings again on this is right here and it's almost non-legible but Well, I got the the Prentice vise as far as I'm going to go until I hear from the guy that wants to buy it. If he decides against it, then I'll probably I'll probably end up refinishing it all the way, restoring it all the way. But I. Uh, I talked with Dale Pratt and he informed me that this is a swivel jaw bench vise, which wasn't very evident at first to someone like me. With all the junk caked in there, you could barely make out some of this line here, but now 
with that totally freed up and it took some doing to get that freed up now you can put tapered stock in there but that pin was missing so Dale asked me if I would take the measurements of these these holes this one here and then here obviously it's tapered so um, I got him the dimensions and he made a pin, whipped one out in one day. That's going to go there. And I asked him to put his insignia on there. So if you are not familiar with Dale Pratt, that's his YouTube channel, Dale Pratt. And Dale, and he does a lot of things. He's got a nice machine shop and, and wood shop right there at home and uh, he makes knives machines stuff makes stuff out of wood works on the old uh, I don't remember now if he had a hit and miss or a Maytag or if he's got more than just the one that's been some time ago but uh, he enjoys doing all kinds of things gardening he's got uh, the green egg and he likes to to grill and cook so Dale Dale does it all go check him out meanwhile I'm waiting for the guy to let me know it's gonna be a while because he's got to convince his wife that he needs to do more shopping but he offered four hundred dollars and my mama didn't raise no dummy So I said, no, 500, no, I'm just kidding. Of course I'll take the 400. This was a freebie. My brother found, he didn't really find it. He was uh, scrapping out some stuff at a guy's home shop, and the guy said, take this. So it's a find. It just wasn't thrown out to the road or anything. So... I haven't weighed it. I want to get the scales out here and see how much it is because, man, that thing's heavy. Uh, another thing you want to do is check out Dale's channel because he's going to have a video of the pin making. So you want to go check him out and uh, see how he made that pin. All right. I suppose that'll do it until the next video and we'll see you later